One thing I continually have to do is um, apply a lookup table or a LUT onto a bit of log footage. And several ways of doing this, um, as you see here, this is a terrible clip, but it's just for illustration purposes. You've got log footage on the top and you want to apply it to all these bits to get a uniform look. And they're all part of the same master clip. So typically what a lot of people do is they grab Lumetri, they put it on here on the first part, basic correction, they get the lookup table and then they do their basic their adjustments and once they're happy with that they get that effect they control c and they paste it to all the others and then it all looks the same and obviously that's worked i suppose the good news would be that you've got individual control over each one of these but the downside is that if you want to make a global adjustment like exposure or whatever or a curve setting you'd have to do it for each one of these clips which is really, really boring. So, a couple of ways of doing it. Now, what a lot of people do as well is they use um, an adjustment layer, which is great. But if you use it on the main timeline, the adjustment layer will affect everything beneath it. So if I just, for the sake of argument, get rid of the saturation so it's black and white, you'll see that the layer beneath has also gone black and white. So they are, the answer for that is to grab these and then right click and nest um, and then it becomes a single clip and you can then apply whatever you want in here um, which is wonderful and it goes black and white again um, and when you come here it's kept the other bit color so that's nice but I don't particularly like this sometimes because I need to click into it um, so it's like another step in the edit to keep going up plus I can't Sometimes I want to see where all the cuts are as sort of a global view of the whole project. Depends. Depends what the, the reason for the uh, the cuts are. So my solution, or a solution I've found and, and other people use, which I think is a good one, is to right-click on the first cut, if you like, the cuts bit here, find it in the project, so reveal in the project, double-click on it, and then this, click off that, click on here. This becomes highlighted. This is the master clip. So this is the whole clip. This is just basically cuts of this master clip. Then grab Lumetri and put it on the master clip and do all your basic adjustments. Um, so for example, all mine would need a lookup table just to look anywhere near normal. Um, I've put my scopes here so I can see roughly what all the different levels are. And so you can get your baseline correction and please don't take this as a gray because it really isn't. Um, you can get your baseline correction pretty much spot on um, and there's your source video and as you can see here in the actual um, program window as you go along all those clips have subsequently been adjusted so if I click back on the master one if I do then an exposure shift so I drop it down you'll see that all of them have now had that so that's a really nice way of working and then the other benefit for me anyway is that if I do want to change one of these or do something different, I can just drag an instance of Lumetri onto that particular clip. I've got no other one listed, so it keeps it nice and clean so I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, and then it's up to me, you know, what exactly I want to do. So I could put a vignette on that. But of course, all the other clips um, do not have a vignette. It's just that one. Um, and so on. So I think that's a good way of working. Um, and it does allow you to at least, I mean, if you're supposing you're outputting in Rec. 709, you want to get everything, all your baseline levels right, and you want to get the LUT applied, do that on the master clip, and then you've got your base to start off from. Everything's correct. Um, and then if you want to do keyframe uh, exposure controls on different sections as you go, then you can always drag another instance of Lumetri, put it on that part of the clip, any one of these, and do exactly what you want. So, yeah, remember the master clip. Very useful save you a, a hell of a lot of time.